Hi, I've never actually done a Lego unboxing video before, so I hope you'll bear with me. This is the 1989 Batmobile set. Wow. I love this film. Um, it's a Burton film, Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson. Terrific film, straight out of my childhood. Loved it and loved this Batmobile. First really, really modern take on the Batmobile on the big screen and a very, very far cry from the 1960s Batmobile, which I also had a certain fondness for, I must admit. Uh, this is Lego set number 76139 and I believe it's 3,000 odd pieces. Uh, so this is going to take me a little while, but I just thought I would share this unboxing with you. I've had this with me for about four weeks now, ever since I treated myself to it for my birthday. I just haven't had an opportunity to actually get into it yet. Um, so I'm going to get into it now and I thought I would add it to my channel so you can have a look. Um, the box is beautiful. It's a lovely, lovely, huge box as well. Um, the old school bat symbol there, which is the symbol that was used for the, for the film. Um, obviously alongside the Lego one. DC as well. You can see here, this is really nice, I really like that, that sort of, the, the black and white Batman there is, is, is a nice effect. And obviously on the back we've got all the details. The back's actually, was actually slightly marked, I got this through the mail. Um, I wouldn't, and it was, in fairness, it was um, surrounded by sort of airbags, but there is a little bit of a mark there, I don't know if you can see it. That's unusual in my experience, although I haven't had that many Lego sets through the post, I must, I must admit. So you're not one of this size before. And um, this is probably the first Lego set that I've bought since I was into Lego decades ago. I've spent you know, a considerable amount of uh, cash and time um, helping my son build ones uh, that we've had since he's been little, but he's kind of going out of his Lego phase now, I think. So maybe he'll return to it in later years as, as I am doing now. Perhaps the circle will come full circle, but um, I think the last really, really big set I got was, um, just for me anyway, it was, it was a Technic car. That was my last one before I went into my dark ages. It was, um, when would it have been? Probably sort of late 1980s, I guess. And it was um very complex Technic set which had sort of a working steering and maybe even working gears in some way shape or form um i remember it quite quite distinctly as being one of the sort of really really big sets at the time but that was the the, the point at which i kind of stopped but for, for me i mean I, I, i'm expecting this set to be fairly challenging to do and probably take me a few days so i'm not going to try and film it all on this camera because it'll run out of a battery and b storage pretty rapidly what I might do is take some clips of it later on as I as I progress through the build. Because touch wood, it's a miserable weekend and uh, there's really nothing better I have to be doing beyond doing some of this. So, introductions over. Um, I'm just looking at the back of the box for a bit more detail on it. So I know it's got Joker, Batman, Vicky Vale, uh, the love interest in the film. And it's got some shots of interestingly it's got chain it's got the chain guns now i found this really interesting because i do various projects on, on lego ideas and i know for example that lego ideas has quite strict rules about what you can and can't put on lego models and one of those rules is no modern weaponry so i was moderately surprised and i know this is a you know it's a fantasy set but it's a realistic fantasy set if you see what i mean so I'm kind of surprised that the chain guns managed to managed to get in there um, on the Batmobile. I thought they might have had to edit that out a little bit somehow, but um, th th there they are. So pushing the boundaries a touch. Okay, so let's get on with this. I have no idea what to expect here. I think there are other unboxing videos on YouTube, inevitably, as there are for these things. But I'm going to have a look. So I've, I've already taken off some little bits of tape on the side here just to try and make it a little bit easier to get into. Um, I'm not entirely sure how I'm supposed to get into it. Okay. 
Maybe I didn't, maybe I only opened it to open one side of it then. So. Woohoo. That's bag 20. <laughs> bag 23. So that's a lot of bags. I don't actually know how many pieces of Lego I have in my collection at the moment, but this is going to seriously up my percentage total, I think, particularly as these will be in my collection rather than my son's. Right, my son's interesting. He's, he's rather different to, um, to me in the sense that when I built Lego, I built it up once, and then I would tend to break it down again and add it to my overall collection. He doesn't do that with his so much. With him, it's a case of build it, display it, play with it, and then keep it built and keep it displayed. I, that wasn't how I did it. So it's been really interesting. Wow, look at that. You see that? That's a tire. That's a serious tire. I know Lego are supposed to be the world's greatest producers of tires, but that's one hell of a tire. I mean, it's, it's quite, it's a little bit squishy, um, but it's huge. That's brilliant, love that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so he, so he tends to keep, because I think, I think because of the, the, the sets have come on so far as, as being actual toys, um, he's found that it, he can sort of keep them to, to play with, and he's quite happy with them just, just being toys, which is, which is absolutely fair enough, you know, that's categorically an option for you, if that's what you want to do. Oh, I saw the Joker's hat in there. There's a little, there was a little. I think he's in there somewhere. There was a little splash of purple. Oh, there he is. That's it. That's the one. See a little splash of purple there. That just caught my eye. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's back. That's back twenty-four. Wow. And um, I think it comes with it on a stand that allows it to rotate. I think that might be what these um, sort of curved pieces are. So there we go. I've got the box in pretty, pretty good nick there, and I only actually had to open one side of it, so that was nice. Um, do you want to see the... It's quite, quite hard to do this, but that's the... Oops. So that's the, uh, the other end flap. I'm going to put some stills of, of these, uh, the various sides of the box up as well. See how we get those. All right, so there's a big white box here as well in amongst all the individual bags. So let me move the bags and I'll show you. We'll have a look at this white box. Okay. I'm just looking for a way into it. I've got another two tyres somewhere. Ah, I think I know what, like, yes, of course, we haven't, haven't hit the manuals yet, so that's what's in here. There we go. You can tell I haven't done this before, can't you? I did have scissors on standby earlier, but I didn't anticipate there being another full box inside the main box. I lent it rigidity there. Whoa, oh, there's more like in here as well. Good lord. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm going to put this somewhere else because it might be appropriate to do that. I don't know. Aha. Better. Okay, I'm approaching the necessary level of tyres now. Surprisingly, there are a lot of grey and black pieces. <laughs> also, some much brighter pieces as well, actually. And there's quite a lot of yellow and there's a little bit of yellow and green as well. 
um, which I guess makes sense. Okay, so that's all my, I now have four wheels there. You see those? Cool. Yeah, so I've got four wheels there, so the two really big chunky ones at the back and the little ones at the front. Means the low numbers of bags now, that was four. That's two. Okay, here we go. Wow. So I when I first saw this set, the thing that immediately jumped to my mind was this is an idea set. Because it's the sort of set I would expect to see someone come up with as an idea, as a Lego idea set. But of course, the thing is, Lego already have the DC license, and there came a point with the Lego Ideas site where they actually said to people, don't send in any more DC or anything, any other sort of um, already licensed set ideas. So, so basically, all of the DC, Marvel, Star Wars, they used to be on Lego Ideas. You used to see ideas for them all the time, but now, now that's all gone. So Ideas now is, is slightly pure, and it's more about stuff that hasn't already been licensed in some way, shape, or form, which I think is quite healthy. Um, and it also means that people don't go to massive amount of time and, and effort only to have their idea taken over by something that was already in development elsewhere in, in Lego. And we, I've been speaking with a few people about that recently, and we've noted that things like the um, the NES, for example, um, suddenly had a NES up on Lego Ideas for quite a while, I think. But because it can take sort of two years plus on Lego Ideas for something to get 10,000 votes and get considered as a set, Lego's own development can, can overtake that. And then, unfortunately, all that effort has gone to nothing because, obviously, Lego will prefer their own version of it over yours. So it's always a risk going into Lego ideas like that. I think you've always got to be realistic that you could get shot down in flames ultimately through through no fault of your own because you just don't know you know how they're gonna how they're gonna do it. So this is a manual and a half. And it's, interestingly, it's only one manual. In a lot of the the bigger sets that I've come across that are more generic in nature, the for the big sets, the manuals get split into sort of, you know, several different manuals. They can be quite handy if you're trying to make it with your offspring as well, because if, if there are sort of sub-models, then you can give them the manual for the sub-model, and they can go off and build that by themselves, and you can get on with another bit. I mean, my son, uh, I think it's fair to say that I've taught him well enough now that he can get on with, on with things himself. So I only ever really get called in now to assist with initial sorting of bags of Lego and then he just cracks on and does it and he can he can he can build pretty much anything going now. Um but as I say sadly I think he's getting out of his his Lego phase and um into uh, other things and obviously you know sort of the Xbox now rules most things unfortunately um in some respects but anyway so there's the rather lovely shiny black manual now I believe that this is going to be a very, very black affair, but I believe all these 18 plus sets are. Um, no, actually, no, it isn't. I thought it was more of a, a more dark background, but actually it, it isn't. Um, that's, that's far more conventional than I was expecting. And how many pages have we got here? So at the front, there's a little bit of, I think it's detail about the film and the development of the, uh, the Batmobile version of that this isn't and so on. Oh yes, there's some moulding going on here as well, look, that's interesting. I'll read that with some interest later, I think, because that's obviously a lot of background behind it. This, this is 80 years of Batman that this ties in with. That's incredible. 80 years, wow. It's still going strong. <laughs> wow. So, total number of steps. Skip to the end. Massive list of parts at the, at the end. Wow. Very cool. Um, and these are subsets. So, six hundred plus steps. Then, nearly four hundred pages in the actual, oh, over four hundred pages actually in the instruction manual booklet itself, and over six hundred steps. So, there you have it. This is going to take me some time, but that's okay. I'm quite looking forward to this. It should be a bit of a challenge, I think 
compared to the small sets that my son's put together in the past. I understand that when it's constructed, it's um, a bit of a monster size-wise. So then I'm going to have to find a, a home for it. Um, but I hope you've um, lived vicariously through me uh, opening all that. It's, um, it's lovely to have one just to have a crack at myself. It'll keep me busy, I dare say, for most of this weekend. Which looks like it's going to be dull, as I mentioned. And I'm in lockdown still, so, you know, it's all good. So, I'll perhaps come back to you when I've... I've had a little go at building a bit more of this, and then I'll um, I'll probably put, I might put these on my Lego Ideas playlist, or I might start a different sort of more generic Lego playlist. Um, gratuitous plug coming up. The last time I had Lego spread all across this table was when I bought individual parts and as components for my Space nineteen ninety nine Lego. Eagle Transporter, which is up on ideas for, um, for support. It's approaching 1,000 supporters now. And when it hits 1,000, I get six months more to get more supporters aiming towards the 10,000 mark. So if you do have any interest in things of bygone eras made out of Lego, which Lego is clearly interested in at the moment, because I also have a, a not massively unrelated set due in the post in due course. Um, which will present another challenge for me, I'm sure. But until that arrives, this one should keep me going. And please do, as I say, consider supporting my, my Lego ideas so that I might get a crack to build a version of it that's actually designed by experts rather than me um, later in life. That'd be ideal. And um, I think I will leave it there before I run out of storage and or battery. And I will come back to you at some point sort of around the 300 steps mark perhaps we'll see we'll see how much of the batmobile has uh, has come into being at, at that point so uh, thanks for listening and i will be back in a while <laughs> bye for now